Hello everybody, welcome to Downtime Activities, and welcome back to the Curian Empire, our Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition campaign with a uh, Epic Six style rule set. Um, there to get a little bit of the flavor of the ancient Mediterranean, with its, uh, where you guys never feel too powerful, even though you're trying to burn an empire to the ground, sort of. A bitch. Um, when uh, uh, last we left off, you guys had uh, cleared out a cave... Uh, with um, members of an elven dragon cult uh, and had acquired um, a uh, ancient set of armor and much more interestingly uh, the uh, um, talking skull of an ancient philosopher. Um, El Elpetius? Elpetius. Pitius. Um, and then had returned uh, to the, um, the city of Canis and uh, were waiting there for your new armor to be... Uh, Fitted with straps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a couple days to just kind of chill here while he does that. What do you guys? Oh, I don't really have anything in particular to do. <clears throat> I'll probably once again. Uh, I'm once again asking to help people woodwork. Uh, okay. <laughs> if there's anybody people doing any woodwork, I know we're not in a coastal place now necessarily. There's like a port right. here for boats, but if there's like a a craftsman of that sort, I want to continue like offer essentially. If they will give me advice on how to woodwork and craft to be an extra set of hands. Sure. Is there, is there like a mine for a couple near this town? Not super nearby. Um, like, does the village, like, do people, like, work as the mine, like, miners or? No, like, most of the mines around here are attached to, like, villages sort of farther out. So. Oh, okay. Like, sort of in this region, but not, like, near nah, the city. Okay. Uh, then I don't know. I'll. I'm probably just roaming around waiting for something to happen. What do I do with this guy? In town, you keep him in a bag. And apart from that, I don't know, learn from him. I feel like the kid just won a goldfish at the fair. And it's like, what do I do with this? <laughs> Except that goldfish is all the knowledge of an ancient philosopher. Won't yeah. stop talking. <laughs> Can he teach me spells and shit? Like he's not a spellcaster; he's a philosopher. He's a philosopher. He's against violence. Is this guy useless as shit and now immortal. That's what I want. I know. think he'll be very useful if we have philosophical questions. We or... always have. To, the problem is philosophical questions do not lead to legit answers. You should sell sell that to him. I'm sure I have a long explanation for why they do. That's why we're having this conversation in common, but he didn't speak. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed with a ask, so. <laughs> oh, take him to bed Who's bed with I mean, yeah, the seer. <laughs> um, yeah. That's what I'm doing for those couple days while I'm waiting for my stuff to get strapped. I'm just, I guess I'm just going to hang out hang out at, like, a tavern or something. Just, just, hang, just have drinks and food and... Make merry? Make merry, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can make elvish friends. Yeah. You're really good with elves. <laughs> <laughs> Very respectful. <laughs> Are you trying to make elvish friends? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> and I won't ask you to roll for anything. Hence why, hence why when I said that, I had that look of like... Mm. You um, go and drink where elves drink. Yes. <laughs> if, you're, if you're lucky, you don't make any enemies. <laughs> um, I just wait for one of them to start bullying me, and then I, then I mess them up. Start a um, after a couple of days, your new armor will be ready. Okay. He also, um, Craftsman also took the time to polish it up. Hey. So it is now just like shiny, shiny bronze. bronze. Nice. Um, that was 300. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right. it counts as a set of full plate. Okay. For the sake of your AC and other statistical things such as stealth or, uh, you know, the, the strength required to wear it. Okay. Um, as well as giving you a flat plus one across the board to all of your saving throws. Ooh. As long as you're wearing the full set of armor. Sweet. Uh, do you, are you wearing a breastplate? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm not going to give you my old one now. You don't need it. 
Because I, uh, I upgraded it before we left. So you had talked before about potentially, like, once you had a full set of armor, just downgrading it at times? You, you know, I wouldn't get like, the plus one to the same. Okay. Should you uh, choose to do that? Okay. And trying to do math here? Yes. And I'm burning under that armor a lot like you did your gold slots. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. <coughs> Maybe I'm just too aggressive of an eraser. Maybe that's my problem. Anyway. Do you sandpaper instead of an eraser? <laughs> <laughs> I use the one grit. Uh, I, I mean... I'm happy to have that I have my new fanciness on and I don't need to be in cities anymore if we want to if we want to go try and yeah, let's go to follow the, the other lead that Rula gave or whatever yeah. the Oracle the Oracle gave. Yeah, let's go <laughs> let's go to that cove. Right. Um it's we'll take you guys um a few days to reach the coast. And you sort of return to that same port city that you guys landed at initially. Um you, being a sailor, would know the direction up the coast where these ruins, like this, like, old ruin fortress is supposed to be. Okay. Where, how do you want to go about getting there? Probably want to move along the coastline itself, like, stay near the water, but camping, like, like beach camping, essentially, along the coastline until we get to it. To make sure that we can spot the cove itself, because we'll see an inlet of like water coming in. It's I would think a lot of places around here. It's hard to be on the coast. Okay, it's like very um, rocky. It's very rocky, and it's um, it's a lot of cliffs. I mean, we could try and get a smaller boat and sail along the coastline, but it's rocky shores. Uh, I don't think we really want to take a rowboat out to a rocky cliffside shore. Yeah. Uh, so maybe being a little more inland and just being slow and thorough in our sweeping of the coast. Okay. Sure. Try and Give catch me it. a survival check. Well, just one of us. Yeah. You, you particularly because you don't know. know the rough location of the place. Okay. Let's go. Not a great roll. That's five. Five. Um, you can, like, you're having a hard time finding a path that keeps you close to the coast. Okay. By the time that you feel like you're getting near the right area, you're not only, like, at this point, like, a couple miles inland, you're not entirely sure <laughs> now how to get, like, you, you could get back the way you came, but you're not entirely sure how to get, like, to this, mm -hmm. like, cliff top from where you are now. The, this whole section of terrain seems surprisingly hard to navigate on. Mm. I'm a pretty good sailor, but... That's some expert that's, level stuff down there. I mean, if we wanted to approach by boat, we can't afford to, like, charter our own private large vessel. Uh, we need a smaller boat. Mm -hmm. Does it... Do I think that, I mean, these are pretty treacherous cliff sides, I'd assume, Rocky Coast. Do I think a small boat that us manning could? Yeah, I mean, the the, the cliffs are fairly treacherous. The waters aren't necessarily. Okay. Um, I guess we could try to double back to, like, the nearest fishing village and get, like, a smaller boat and try to approach from sea. Yeah, then that might be our only real s safe bet. Are you trying to just rent a boat or buy a boat? Uh, see what the cost is of both. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have. A, if we are going to find a boat here, it probably has its own like smaller vessels, but it wouldn't yeah. hurt to have a small boat on your bigger boat. Mm -hmm. But little do we know, what she was talking about here is actually a hot air balloon that we're going to find inside of this coat. It's going to be a plane. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a. B-52. Uh, 
Because this actually takes place in the far flung future. Tercius will wander around the, the uh, plane in a stewardess outfit. Um, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 you want any peanuts? <laughs> um, yeah, this Wait, if you're uh, here, who's flying the plane? <laughs> oh, no. This, this, this campaign takes place in the far future. Uh, um, after the like nuclear war and collapse of modern civilization, mm-hmm. so, like, we're now living in a like you know, fantasy uh, universe. Hmm. You are just actually in the military. Yeah. <laughs> History really does repeat itself. It's great. Uh, a rowboat to buy would cost you fifty gold. You probably rent it for cheaper than that. Let's just buy it. Let's just have a rowboat. Yeah, go. Cool. Because it doesn't hurt to have a rowboat. I'll buy a rowboat. Okay. Yeah. Right. So will you. You can uh, you can reach the coast and a fishing vessel and, and uh, or a fishing village and uh, uh, buy yourself a rowboat. Well, it's not a, it's not a brand new rowboat, but it's, but it's functional. Yeah, and it's like it's not ragged or anything. I guess we'll move along the coast as long as we can until we want to get to a decent spot. I mean, this is I guess it's a fishing village. It's a good spot to keep it off, I guess, but it's going to be so like need- some amount of time. We want to get as close. Staying on land, get as close as we can to this thing before it really forces us off. So the you're pages. going to drag the rowboat? I guess this is how far from this village is it to where the rough area where I think it is? How many days rowing? Um, you think rowing, you could probably be there within a day or a day and a half. You think if you want to try and drag the boat over land, <laughs> the trip will take you significantly longer? Yeah. Uh, if we don't find it in one day's time, we could find somewhere safe to put the boat and use that to be our place to camp for the night. So yeah, let's probably just set sail from here. Okay. Yeah. Start rolling our happy yeah. ass down. Yeah. I, I, I know we're not like deep ass. into the ocean, but do it. Uh, last time I was on a boat, I got real <laughs> sick. Do I need to roll again for? Let's see. Smaller vessel. Let's see what the weather is like. It's kind of choppy. It's uh, it's it's a it's a little rough. You don't think the boat's like at risk necessarily, but no, it's... but but like, but like how how is Wolf doing? Like, do I need like you, you, can, you yeah. can roll a con save if you want. It's it's rough enough that you might be feeling sick. Ha! <laughs> That's a six. Okay. Yeah. They're not feeling great. <laughs> uh, I hate. Boats. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> <laughs> this feels good. Sea breeze blowing in the wind. <sighs> can't believe I never. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I can't. I gotta stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you chum the water behind us, not in front of us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, he's Otherwise, when we haul this thing up under our boat, there's going to be a bunch of dried on vomit <laughs> particles on it. Right? all over the deck. Hey, listen, unfortunately for you, I'm at the front of the boat. <laughs> Just, <laughs> draped over the uh, Just keep it out of the boat, at least, I guess. Uh, but yeah, trying to approach from yeah. sea this time. Um, so, around the, the section of sort of high cliffs that fall off into the ocean, um, around which what you boys like there's a there's a little there's a set of ruins on top of them faintly visible from the sea it's hard to tell how much is there okay you've been up and down these coasts you've seen this place before you know that people refer to it as acro siletta which acro is like like stronghold essentially so like it's not the acropolis it's the acropolis it's mm-hmm. the fortress above the city Right, Corinth had Acro Corinth, mm-hmm. which also uh, was um, during one of the Crusades was taken over by like the Franks, and they built a castle up there. Because uh, why wouldn't you? Because why wouldn't you? Um, Acro Corinth was very interesting, uh, but like that's like what you've always heard it referred to uh, as as Acro Siletta. You don't know anything about it apart from that. Um, uh, and um, and like Sayurana around the town, isn't like a known city's name or anything. It's not not a names. not a city or village that like you would that you have heard. Okay. Would our skull companion have heard of it? 
Do you ask him? Yeah. <laughs> I say, ah, oh, yeah. they call these ruins Acro Sileta. Means Sileta Fortress is in for me. The Fortress of Sileta. Sileta was a small village, I believe. A, um, the, the, I, part of the guy was ever there and supposed to be relatively pretty, I think. Well protected. Hmm. Well, if we see a fortress and he knows of a city, I assume there's a city down in here somewhere. Let's look for somewhere we can. And what is it that we're looking play? for in the city again? There's just some object. I think it's a, a way of traveling or something. I don't remember exactly how she worded it. What um, the oracle told you was that, like, here at this place we can see the ruins of Bacrosaleta. There's a, like, cave in the cliff that's large enough for a ship to pass through. Mm. And that you should go and see what lies beyond. That's right. Hmm. Didn't specify what kind of ship, but okay. Ship can pass through. We're in a small one, but um, let's start sailing in. Okay. It's even knowing even knowing that there has to be something here. It takes you a minute to find this cave. You've sailed past here before and never knew there was a cave. I, I assume like I have a special feature. My, like, background is, like, a marine mm-hmm. background. And so if there is a safe shore, like, a safe landing place to find, then I can find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's probably why I, I even have a chance of it's, finding this. Like, it's so it, well hidden. It is, well, it is well hidden behind, like, the cave itself. The water is well deep enough everywhere through here for a ship to pass through. But the cave itself is, like, like there's a stand of jagged rocks around the base of this cliff that are far enough for the, from the cliff that a ship could pass through behind them, but that's very hard to tell from the sea. Hmm. And there is, like, the cave entrance itself is, like, hidden almost completely visually from, from the sea. Um, and it is absolutely large enough for a... Cover uh, Well, yes, for a <laughs> but it is absolutely large enough for a ship to pass through as well. Um, you think you think a ship with oars could pass through right. comfortably? Um, Remember this. Uh, yes. And <clears throat> like you would notice in particular that even all, like all through the cave, the water's quite deep. Um, it's quite clear, but it's like a ship would not risk running aground going through here. And already, like as you guys are kind of like beginning to row on one side, you can see light at the far side. Um, quite the hidden away little cove here and you will you will pass through into a hidden cove surrounded by cliffs on three sides and a slope on the fourth um, with the ruins of a village around uh, one side of it hmm. it's an old overgrown place. road that like <laughs> winds its way up to the top of the pot tunnel. That's right, a place to land. <laughs> I assume this has a little docking area hmm? inside the cove here. We can pull the boat there's, there's, and tie there's, it off. There's actually, there's plenty of golden beaches, like mm-hmm. shoreline here, as well as like docks at the village itself. We'll probably pull up to the shore more than a dock with a little rowboat yeah, pulling up get, onto the sand. Yeah, when we get to the to shore, I just <laughs> throw myself <laughs> off the boat into the sand. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Land. <laughs> Gotta pop off and help, like, slide yeah. it up onto the sand deep enough that I won't get caught and pulled back out and float in the cove. It's, like, it's beautiful here. Like, it's it's deep, clear blue water, like, all through this bay. It's, like, apart from the, like, the, like, sort of cliffs themselves, like, right at the water where you guys just, like, rode through. Um, it's mostly just gold sand beaches around. Um, enough space here for, at the very least, a large number of fishing vessels, um, if not like a small fleet of, hmm. of larger ships. There's not a single vessel here. All of the buildings that you can see in the village are, they are stone buildings. Very few of them have roofs, but most of them have at least the majority of their walls. Um, and there is not any, there is no sign of recent habitation here at all. Hmm. Hmm. This could be a good place to 
fly low, or, yeah. or to, I don't know, gather your forces to march on the known world and conquer your enemies. Good guys still, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I guess we should just go explore and see what we find. Yeah, I think it'd be worthwhile to explore around here. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you guys going up the road? Are you looking around in the village? I'd like to look around the village. Yeah, I village. Like the village. Um, there's one of the buildings was obviously a smithy at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, there's an open square kind of in the middle of the village with an old fountain that is not currently running. Um, and like kind of around that square and like nearby to it are like all of the like sort of pillars and structures and stuff that once must have been like sort of the, the heart of this little polis. Um, it's like, like you, you can easily imagine like, you know, uh, market stalls and like kind of people coming and going and stuff, but it's, um, it's lots of the biggest, ha- there's only, most of the houses are small. There are a few bigger ones that are like big square houses with a central open uh, courtyard, um, very much in the sort of iron style. Mm-hmm. Um, and no, like, obvious temple. Um, most of the buildings, like, apart from, like, wood or thatch or stuff like that that would have rotted away are, like, really in pretty good repair. Yeah. Um, it doesn't seem like it would, it would, it would, wouldn't necessarily take all that much effort to, like, sort of get this place back into good repair. It would cost money just because it's a whole village, but, um... The buildings are really in good shape. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's a good place to know of and have as a place to start rebuilding and making something here. Building your horses so you could defeat the Empire? Eventually. I mean, (laughs) I don't think I quite have the funds to rebuild a village and arm and train a legion to march on my enemies. But... Oh, <laughs> One day, <laughs> and show our skull friend what we're what we're seeing now too. Um, this just what kind of city did this function in back in the day? Oh, like trade, uh, pittance. Yes, primarily fishing. I would imagine from the gun of, uh, I mean, the base. Well, hidden. Uh, I doubt it would. Um, if it had been trade, I'm sure we would have heard of it. Uh, there might be farms on the plateau above, I, but I imagine uh, they did a lot of fishing. Hmm. I'd be. Uh, I wonder what condition the fortress is in up above. Well, let's go take a look. Yeah. Does the winding road look like it might travel that way? It at least heads up to that, like the the plateau, like the cliff top up above. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Okay. Um. It will take you guys a little while to get up there. It's like... Steep hike. Yeah. <laughs> it's And it's not even like necessarily that steep. It's just like... Especially if you're actually sticking to the road. Like the road itself isn't terribly steep. It's just like... But that means that the path is much longer. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to believe all the ancestor stories of going to school uphill both ways. <laughs> <laughs> in a sandstorm. <laughs> in a sandstorm. Sand your, your During a tsunami. <laughs> Uh, Where's this we, thing you call school? school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... I While well, Atlantis was sinking into the sea. Uh, yeah. Fire uh, was falling to bed. Um, coming, like, reaching the top of the plateau, you can um, you can see on, like, on one side is the fortress. Um, there's a, like... And you guys would have been kind of, like, crossing it consistently heading up. There's, like a fairly large stream sort of flowing from the direction of the, like, ruined fortress that goes, like, sort of down towards the village. Hmm. Um, on the, sort of on the one side is the fortress. On the other side, sort of deeper in land, is a lot of really broken, rough terrain. It seems like the only road in and out of here you guys are currently standing on, it does, what's left of it does sort of head off in that direction, sort of into that, like, broken countryside where you guys found yourself lost just a couple days before, (laughs) as well as a pretty prominent and, like, turbulent river 
that's not far ahead, but that also seems to be like cutting off a significant portion portion of the approach from that side. Wow. Well, very defensible. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the fortress. Yeah. Travel along that road and go see what the what lies in these ruins. Yes. Okay. Um this is a relatively small fortress. Um the foundations all the walls and most of, and like quite a bit of the like roof and stuff of sort of the keep itself are intact. As well as a significant portion of the walls and towers around the outside. Um, it uh, has a pretty like prominent view out over the ocean in, a, in very nearly three directions. Um, Built small but tall. As well as, uh, well it's also just on top of it's oh, yeah. a, the best a relatively tall point. cliff. Um, <clears throat> and, um, like, kind of in the center of its main courtyard is um, uh, is a fountain that seems to be presumably built over a spring that seems to be feeding that um, stream. Okay. Uh, and it's a, um, it's a fountain showing Athena striking down a cyclops. Hmm. That's super cool. Um, and it runs, it sort of runs out through a, like, relatively small, but like a, like a metal, like, kind of, like, reinforced grate set in one of the, uh, other I wonder if that fountain downstairs wasn't working. I wonder if it's just jammed up or something. These things are beyond my knowledge of how they fully work, <laughs> but I'm sure the right craftsman to get it working again. Yeah. So the fortress itself, does there, is there like a building more, or is it more so like walls, towers, and a central courtyard? There is a like keep, keep piece to it. Maybe we should look through that, see if yeah. it's still yeah. functional. Is it like one story? No, it's, it's multiple stories. Multiple stories. Each take a floor, be more spread out and look around. Okay. Let's go and search for clues. Hey, hot girl, come with me. Stoner, you take the nerd and the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in Scooby-Doo, might be recommend the, the Aussie's, Aussie's Mystery. Mystery. I was about to say, I'm more of an Aussie's Mysteries guy myself. Uh, on the Downtime Activity YouTube channel. Very good. Very good stuff. A lot of fun. Um... <laughs> Uh, the, um, so there is like, there's essentially four floors, ground floor and two above it, uh, as well as a basement that seems to be mostly cellars, okay. uh, and uh, like a small dungeon, um, uh, or I guess small prison, not like dungeon in the D&D sense, as in like, uh, like, ooh, we just have a dungeon attached to it. Let's crawl in it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, there's, like, kind of the, the great hall on the first floor, um, which actually the first floor and part of the second, um, the balconies kind of around the, the size of that, of that central great hall. Uh, most of the building, like, apart from, like, windows and stuff, most of the building is really pretty well intact. Um, uh, the, like, there are sections of, like, the roof missing. And some of the walls have, like, some of the, like, outer walls, especially on higher sections of the keep, have either have collapsed either inwards or outwards. Some of the rooms are kind of completely unusable at the moment. But, like, you could, you could actually shelter here, um, <laughs> even as it is. There's no furniture, there's no, like, old supplies, there's no old armory stocked with equipment or anything like that. Um, but the building itself is really pretty. It seems like the outer walls are a little worse off, but still mostly intact. I'll go check out the third. The, yeah, the third floor. Okay, but that's awesome. definitely the one that's in the worst shape. Um, quite sense. often, like you're just, you can just see the sky um, where you otherwise wouldn't be able to, um, and that's where like the worst of like the rooms like choked in with rubble and stuff like that are. Um, mm. It's empty. There's nothing in, like, any of the rooms that you can get into and stuff, there's nothing in any of them. Um, uh, and, but it's, like, it's it's the most uninhabitable of the floors, correct? Is it their floor? 
Well, third floor sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Astute observation. Uh, that's not what Terse was saying. You know, well, we could fix it up at some point. It's yeah. good to know. Yes. I feel like this is uh, a good location to have for the future. Maybe not something we can do a whole lot with at this exact moment. Yeah. 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 Probably something for the future. I don't feel like spending the next couple months here cleaning this place up, just the three of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. But I feel like we've kind of looked over it and we know it's here and hopefully no one else will stake a claim while we're gone. But they'd have to find it first. Which is not an easy task. It is strange that this was a known place before and it just fell off the map. It is very, very weird. It's odd. And so after exploring the keep and the village, there was nothing of obvious note that stood out while we were exploring. Nothing seems, nothing here seems even remotely recent or um, disturbed in any way. Like, very old. This, it seems like when this place was abandoned, it was done so in a quite orderly and like relatively calculated fashion, I guess. It doesn't seem like it was just abandoned quickly. Wasn't it like it doesn't look like it was besieged and no, torn yeah. down? Everything, was like they were everything kind of was apart. everything was everything was packed and taken away, yeah. and it's been that way for some time. Hmm. So then the oracle we'll just browse here to just so now we know we know it exists. We know it exists. We have it as a place we could fall to uh, to hide, to recoup, to build something. Just gotta remember, getting here <laughs> requires a boat and some fun travel. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, maybe we get some... I, I think we get a night's rest here in the fortress, maybe, since it has the best roof. Uh, and then we get on our rowboat and sail north. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not actually on a rowboat. But if we're going to go rowboat. north, <laughs> we're gonna need we, to. we probably want to take boat. I imagine it's going to be a lot quicker than trying to cross country. Well, we're also, we're also going to have to get past, because I'm pretty sure it's blocked off. Like, we don't... We can't get I mean, we in. get to the Korean side. Yeah. So. Easily enough. Well, let's let's rest up, get to the opposite side of the shore, or close closer sh to shore of the my homeland, and then we'll head head there. Okay. So we rest up. Rest up, and then the next day, I think, mount up and sail back to that village. Okay. Get our horses, and I mean, we if we want to book passage, do I think like by sea is going to be a lot quicker? Depends. I mean, we had to go around a big peninsula. Travel in this age depends on many things. Um, you'll be required to cross at least one mountain range, and the front lines of an active war if you go by foot. Um, but you're less, apart from the mountain range, you're less likely to just get killed in a free uh, weather accident. Um, whereas travel by sea, the sea she it's is like a cool it is mistress. a it is a long way by sea. It is much less direct, but sea travel carries with it with many of its own risks. So uh, you guys I, can, I feel uh, like I feel like having kind of to trying to decide if having our horses would make things a bit easier. It'd be we can self sufficiently like travel by land better. We wouldn't have to like pay a boat to take us there. Yeah, and there's not really like commercial boat sailing doing like you know uh long loops of that i mean we could try and find like a merchant vessel or something and like mm -hmm. get hired on as guards or something along those lines yeah but um, yeah i just the travel by land might be better i think it'd be better it's a long journey you got and you guys do have maps we do uh, so you can if you want to like if you go by land you can always adjust your course in one direction or another if there's like I'm assuming if we're going by land, we're essentially going to go from I like Korean controlled Ayara to Korean controlled Dacia. <laughs> like a Korean controlled uh, like conquered land that is a little more barbaric. That would be like the northern lands of Ayaran's past. And then kind of through more barbaric human lands until we got to the areas where the the stout folk live. Um 
We wouldn't really have to cut Astute. through Ayara itself. It'd be more moving through Ayara controlled territory. You can also go by sea part of the way. Like either over to um, Batalia, which is the like sort of core like homeland of the Kyrians, or um, Cesera, which is like essentially the Spanish Peninsula. Um, either of those will significantly change the like course you have to, or like the, the route you would be taking on land and could be quicker. With the tides are on our side. You could always stop by Curia if you felt like it. See the city itself. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> I think that maybe, do we want to try and go by sea part way to kind of cut a chunk of it off? If it makes it quicker, I don't see it. As see long as tire. Poseidon is on our side, it'll make it quicker. Sure, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or we're fine with just leaving that boat in a kind of random spot, though. I mean, we can't really take it with us. We probably should have rented one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell it back and get our money back. <laughs> we won't get all of our money back, I don't think. If we sell it to the same guy. I mean, I could just try and hide it somewhere. <laughs> hope no one steals it while we're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about it and never come back anyways. Uh, or we die and, and, there's, and then, you know, it's a free boat, so. Yeah. Regardless, we're not taking the boat with us. Yeah. If we get on a big boat, then we're going to be like, hey, can we bring our rowboat with us? I don't think they're going to want to throw that on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if yeah, we go by land, I'm not hauling that thing around. <laughs> yeah, put some wheels to it, turn it into a wagon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just hide it and then row it down the road. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better. Yeah, I say let's just hide it and then yeah. head, hit the road. If this is all frozen land, we could hook sleds on the bottom of it and have a team of horses pulling along the snow. Be like that one part of the newer season of or the, the, the Vikings show that came after. Vikings Valhalla? Mm. Yeah. It's a cool little bit, but show itself is fine. Anyways! Uh... <laughs> I think just try and like hide the boat out somewhere near the docks on the shoreline. Just like give me a survival check to try and hide the boat. Five. 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 I find a place that's great. Yeah. No one will ever find it. No. That's fifty gold. I'm not getting back. Uh, <laughs> okay, I didn't do much better. So um, find a place to kind of stash it off, and then I guess this is like more of a fishing village. We probably won't find like a big ship trying to make a long trek over to somewhere in yeah, Cesarea or whatever. Yeah, we're going to have to head... Cesara? 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 S-A-Z-E-R-A. Cesara. Yeah, we're going to have to hit a different port. Maybe like an actual travel port. Probably travel by land towards a bigger coastal city and then we can try and find a ship that's... Just like see what vessels are hiring uh, sailors or guards. Yeah. And try and Get the passage there somehow? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, I mean, you're essentially going to be heading back to the city, the, like the coastal city by Canis that you guys have been through like twice now. Okay. Um, you'll essentially just be, like, that would be the closest place to like, um, like the closest place where ships of that size or potentially traveling that far would, would be. Okay. All right. Fan out and look for clues, gang. Let's go look around and see if there's big merchant vessels and just like ask around and see where vessels are going to try yeah. and find one we can hopefully throw a lot in with. Give me a uh, persuasion checks. Just run out of persuasion checks for uh, an old boy trying to find a ship. Let's try it. Your specialty. A 14? Okay. 21. 19. 19. Um, the 19 and 21 would both find, uh, well, I guess you would find a ship that's, um, not heading to Cesara. The closest they're going is essentially the coast next to the city of Curia. Okay. Um, like essentially, it's essentially the port for Curia, but it's not. It's it's like a, at least a day, if not two, from the like capital city itself. Gotcha. 
That's the closest they're going. No. You would find a ship that is eventually heading to Cesera, but they're going to the coast of Hara first. Hmm. The one going to carry it might be quicker, because we won't have any stuff on it. And, I mean, you also, like, at least when... Um, I believe the Vanches told you as well that your brother was deployed in Hara, at least last unit, or the 7th Legion was. That's the city that was destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, I had a vision of that as well. Um, yeah. I think that's war-torn country. And it's a stop-off on the way to another destination. So I think taking the one you found to Curia might be... We'll have to move and, through the uh, Empire's yeah, heartland. I can, can resend the map as well if you guys want to. Like, I think I saved it somewhere. Um, Decide which. Yeah. How did somebody post a video on our channel 45 minutes? What? <laughs> oh my god. Um, I saw about. Do you mind sending it again? Because I think I have the old version screenshotted. I also need to at some point uh, update it. But, which isn't a big deal because the old version just doesn't include some of the more eastern stuff, I think. But if we're going towards Curia, then we can travel by land towards Keltarn. I mean, Cesare is much closer. We wouldn't have to go over the huge, or around the huge track, the huge mountain area, the spine of the world, or the greater Vale peaks. But it is also entirely potentially something that we could uh, take a different boat once we get there. Like in Curia, there'll be lots of ships going places. So if we wanted to go to Cesare from there, we might have other, other options. Yeah. So I'll take the one going to Battaglia, towards the city of Curia. Sure, why not? Yeah. That sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable. Uh, I guess we'll see if they need any help. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> I think we want to try and ask and see if uh, we could be hired on as guards or sailing hands rather than paying for passage on a ship like that. Yeah. You get to be on a boat again. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a better constitution. <laughs> Hopefully um, you're building up your, uh, your sea legs. Those of you who... Uh, know how to sail a ship can just earn your keep those of you who don't it will cost 10 gold i will earn my keep i'm a sailor yeah yeah i'm just gonna pay the 10 gold especially if i'm gonna be holed up probably in my <laughs> cot for you have to pay an extra five gold security deposit so you don't stain their floorboards <laughs> and you're throwing <laughs> yeah i'll have to roll a constitution save just you'll find it i'll see how you do cool. yeah. get on and, uh, head out in the area i guess we can uh, we bring guess, horses with us um horses will be extra how much extra another 10 gold per horse Cheaper than buying a horse when we get there. Yeah, and I'm not leaving Rapid Dash anywhere, so I like my horse. <laughs> I'll pay the ten gold to bring old what's his name with us. Horse with no name. You literally didn't name your horse. Exactly. I think giving animals names is strange. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, character or are you? Yeah, Tercius. Okay. Like, are you naming a horse? It's a horse. <laughs> Because they're expendable. People. I mean, not, I'm not gonna like to see a cliff and push a horse it's, off it's of it. Like it's, it's a boar, right? It's, yeah, exactly. It's not like a boar. It's not like a, I, I see animal life as pointless. I just animals don't really have names. I, mean, I guess you, if it's like a pet that you're like, you know, a hunting dog that can like recognize a call and come to you, sure. But why would you? 
I, I, think, name I think a horse. I think a horse would be like a better pet because you've trained them to do more things for you. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't, I don't know. Tercius, we ain't having this argument. We don't need to have this argument. I'm just... <laughs> We can agree to disagree. I don't right. think that you need to name a horse. I think a horse is more useful than a child at a certain point. <laughs> well, I mean, children are useless yeah. until they're adults. But we name them like the we do pets. It's very strange. Why would, yeah, why would you name a child? They're useless. Because a person. <laughs> Throw his logic back at him. He, doesn't, he still doesn't get it. Perhaps the horse finds you useless. Probably does. That would be a sense. <laughs> right, well, if the horse, the horse can certainly find me as you just says it wants, it's still my horse, and I'll ride it around when I want to. It's well trained. Wait, if we're all talking common, how did Tidious understand what we're talking about? Were you all there? Yeah, I guess we so. probably were. Who knows? <laughs> he also might be able to pick up on language fairly quickly. He's been around for a long time. He's getting little bits of it. He understands the word for horse. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Horses aren't useless. They're just... They don't need anyway. I don't speak the language, but I can always discern what the word is horse and For horse and useless. <laughs> that's, that's a shitty superpower. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't understand every language, but I can understand horse and useless. Yeah, but you can just call people a useless horse. Literally every <laughs> any dialect. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty good superpower. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. We sail... Come sail away with me. Come, Come sail away. away. Come sail away. Sail away with me. Do I need to roll another con save to see? Probably should, yeah. Hmm. That is... Uh, that's better. That's a nine. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> we don't blow chunks, but you're still... <laughs> I was, I was still laid up in bed like, <laughs> Um. Okay. Um, you will arrive in... It's... Like, this is just supposed to kind of be like a port town. Like, it's just sort of Curia's port, but it's not... Even though it's like a day from the city itself. But it is still... Um, yes. Uh, and you've seen elements of this architecture sort of everywhere that you've been, because everywhere the Curians go, they're like, build a forum, build a temp temple to Jupiter, um, build an amphitheater, uh, build a, build a, uh, build a gymnasium, and a bath, and a arena for racing chariots. Build um, a worse version of IR and stuff that we decided we came up with. <laughs> Places where people don't want it because they already got their own stuff. Um, <laughs> but this is... <laughs> Like <laughs> um, this is like this is an entire city of that architecture, and there are ships here from um, at least everywhere around this sea, um, and merchants from everywhere. There's um, Leonin from down south. There's um, people selling um, furs and woven goods from farther north. Uh, there's is even just this port city is like clearly a like pretty substantial trade hub. Um, a lot of the stuff going inland comes through here, and a lot of the stuff from at least Natalia is going back out through this port. Um, and as pretty much as soon as you guys land and go looking for any ships leaving, your uh. Told by a man who's clearly had to have this same conversation hundreds of times that um, the emperor has declared a holiday in honor of himself. Um, so no ships are allowed to enter the port, but no ships larger than like fishing vessels essentially are allowed to leave the port for the next week. <laughs> Yay! We should have taken the one with the stop. <laughs> should have known coming near this. Blasted city would have been a waste of time. <laughs> In honor of himself. Mm. Uh, no. Who's a god? Ah, oh, yes. <coughs> of course. Let's send that thing. Happy Pompous Day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I whacked you in the head. Like, Shut up. Conk. I suppose technically it would be a Mulius Day. So you. you it's Pompous Day. So you yeah, said no ships bigger than. 
fishing vessels. Mm -hmm. So suppose we buy another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know a good oh, place we can hide. Fuck. <laughs> oh, what, what's the emperor's name? I don't find that. Um, Amelius? What did you see? Give me, a, give me a history check. You are also a citizen of the empire, so you can also roll it. <laughs> I think you technically Minus lost one. your citizenship when five. you fought for a foreign nation, but uh, five. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait, did you already roll yours? <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this is good or bad. Bad! So technically, I, I don't know how this works with a history check, but it's a crit fail. Okay. With a plus zero. With plus zero? P minus one to anyone else doing the same thing around. <laughs> so my five is instead of four. You're, you're, you can remember that it's the Suelian dynasty. Suelian. You can remember that. Mm -hmm. You've got no fucking clue. <laughs> you, you, you remember that and you're like... Pump What's his name? What's Pumpus. his name? And like, while you're trying to think of that, it just feels like something's jabbing you in the back of the, the whole time that you're like, trying to... Like, a Charlie horse. Like, while you're trying, while you're trying to think of it, and you can't come up with it. We called him, in, we called him Emperor Pompous, where I'm from, so I, I forgot his actual name. Uh, uh, hail the Emperor Day. I'm just like, like, let's get yes, the fuck out of here. I mean, well, I'll ask that same, is, how about travel by land, or caravans coming and going normally? Um, they're coming and going. Most are waiting around in port for the ships to start sailing again. But you're allowed to travel by land. We oh, it looks like out. we're just traveling by land. We're going to go back to that same spot with our boat like a hundred times. <laughs> There's going to be a freaking stack of just boats. <laughs> no, they're not, because I'm going to steal it every time. <laughs> we're going to go and buy a new boat and hide it in the same At place. We're going to buy the same boat. There's going to be some hey, guy I who's got an entire sense. industry off of selling the boats we buy and try and hide somewhere. God provides me with pretty decent <laughs> boats that I sell. Hardly a bounty, use. A bounty from Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, and no dead bodies to bury. It's fair game. Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> Poseidon just left me a boat here. I guess we'll get our horses off of the boat we came on and... I mean, we're going to have to ride through the city a little bit, at least, and see what the, the festivities appear to be like. Yeah, well, um, actually, I don't think we have to, based on the map. We don't well, not the city of Curia itself, oh, yeah. but this coastal, their port, which oh, just yeah. is another city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think the chances of us being recognized by anybody are? Slim to none. Okay. Just figured. I mean, personally, I don't think they would have recognized me here. Yeah, I mean, I I stick out anyway. So if I was one, he something. says stepping out into the sun and it reflects off of the polished bronze <laughs> armor, just blinds the whole city square. Don't you recognize me? We can't see. <laughs> I have natural camouflage. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't like glistening oil pecs <laughs> 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 reflect light in everyone's face. Peck pop and blind. <laughs> you, are you guys making the like one day journey to Curia? proper or are you just staying in the uh, port? Probably not. I mean, no, I if we can get on a main road, I, I don't think we should wait around the week. I think we should take the mountain passes. No, yeah, let's just take the mountain pass. It's like it'll a be jump. a little more treacherous riding, but it'll, so we'll it'll be will, a good idea for you. From to here, you will have to go at least within sight of Curia. Okay. Um, because, you know, all roads more all or less roads lead, lead to it. Curia. Um, yeah, <laughs> Marcellus. Oh, <there> <laughs> Continue cursing a provincial governor even in the capital city. Um, uh, you guys definitely don't need to like go into the city itself if you don't want to, but you will be at least like. Part of me feels like pass with you getting too close is probably not a great idea. Mm -hmm. well, look, I can bite my tongue. Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> Good point. Let's not go into the city. <laughs> They do that for so long until yep. they stop caring. Nobody blames you. I can bite my tongue only so long before I chop it from my mouth and <laughs> yeah. it falls to the ground. Then all bets are off. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then and once but, it's but free, then once point, it's free from my mouth, it's free to do what it wants. Yeah, <laughs> and, and nobody and nobody will understand what you're saying anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I can stay quiet. No, you can't. Good point. Good point. Good Let's point. not go there. <laughs> it is a silly place. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just ride. Right till we get to the major road that we can heading north, westward, and 
Um, Towards the mountains. Traffic seems well backed up on the road. Um, there are a lot of caravans just, like, camped around the city. Um, and the city that you guys are in, like, this port doesn't have all that much in terms of festivities going on. There are kind of some, but it's like the, there's no, like, there's no, like, party, necessarily. Big party. Uh, I are there going to be games? Do you want to be right? No. No. Here? No. What are you doing? No. What are you <laughs> doing? Like, wait, wait. There's something like going and winning the Kyrian Games as an Iron is like a, is absolutely something that'll scratch an itch for me. <laughs> no. We've got like chariot racing or, or a grand tourney. Probably best. What if we, we tear it down out. again? We won the last tournament we were at in our big city. No, 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 don't be stupid. There's nothing stupid. Look, the people who can recognize us are like occasional random soldiers from a continent away across the sea. Like, they're not going to be like, ah, buff elf. He must be that one that's in the city in another country a thousand miles from But what if, what if they do recognize us and then we do this? Then they've wrecking that. Hey, wait a minute! You're, Wasn't there you a Kenra dwarf and a massive? You are really trying elf? to kickstart our freaking gladiator arc, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything. I don't believe you. <laughs> Let's just ask what sort of festivities are going on. No, just asking around as we get close to the I'm city. I'm about to kill him. <laughs> we don't have to. I we, am, are you asking around about festivities? Absolutely, I am. <laughs> just to know what they are. There are. Literally always games going on at the like big arena in Curia. Um, you can expect that that would probably have been stepped up a notch. They're not necessarily like a grand tourney, um, but they're like there will be a bunch of like big gladi- like gladiator um, fights and events and some like um, like staged ones. You know, as well like as historical like, reenactments, historical reena- historical reenactments, <laughs> or like you know, or the like potentially a sea battle, or like. But 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 here's here's the thing, or something like <laughs> hey, that. Yeah. What's the reward? Because if it's just um, fame and glory, it's really not worth. There are also um, there are chariot races. Um, that's another thing that's quite common and um, ludicrously cutthroat. Think pod racing from Star Wars, as far as like. Chariot racers are regularly hired to kill other charioteers during races. Um, uh, and, like, there are sponsors and, like, um, the fights in the stands between fans of different, like, different racers or different teams and stuff like that. Um, and there will probably just be, like, other general ongoing festivities. Um, some parties, maybe free food, maybe free wine, stuff like that. I... I say pass as well. <laughs> also, bear in mind, I am a dwarf. I don't belong here. <laughs> I can't. I feel. I feel like me getting past the border is some kind of international crime. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, you're. It's there's your people are at war, but I mean that doesn't mean that a traveler can't come through here. You're not necessarily. You're not a, a warrior. You're not a combatant from that country. Just a merchant. Just a traveler. He is trying to get us arrested. <laughs> I don't. I, I can't do anything. In this no, I don't necessarily. It would just be you because I don't want to. You can't. <laughs> I'm not saying we have to. I'm not saying we have to. It's good to know. We're looking like there's probably pretty great rewards for doing these kinds of things. If it's just, just money. It's not worth it. We don't necessarily stop and do that right now. But if we're looking to fund big ventures in the future. Coming and winning a big chariot race or something could be good to know. Sure, sure. <laughs> you way you were making it sound like we had to do it now. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Turn around. He's gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah. No foot races or anything like yeah. that. <laughs> Probably some. At least some somewhere. I think for the time being we should probably continue onward. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, we can, we can tear it down in a few years. Quit your pouting. 
I don't want to go to the city, but I do want to win that they are Kyrian games as an IR and to be like, <laughs> you are taking our... Co- this is cultural appropriation and I'm taking it back. <laughs> when you give that speech, remind me to not be nearby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And you can tell Emperor Pompous on Mr. Pompous Day, <laughs> he can <laughs> suck. Hey, I'm going to say nothing. Not to catch a bird. All right. Let's yeah. keep riding. Let's keep riding. We got to get up north. Um, you you can just pass, you will be able to just pass by in sight of the city. Um... There are no, like, there is, it, like, it is a, without a doubt, the biggest city that you guys have seen so far, um, larger even than um, the, the capital of the uh, Tabaxi Empire. It is a, like, just from a distance, it is a sprawling, densely packed city with a mixture of, like, like, small, like, or, like, slummy, like, tenement buildings and stuff jammed in close and tightly together and, like, massive constructions. You can see the palace from well outside the city. Um, you can see a lot of the temples and towers from outside of the city. It's surrounded by a massive wall, um, which uh, civilization within has broken well out of. <laughs> um, there are lots of smaller buildings and stuff uh, outside the city that continue to spread. It's it's right up on the banks of a couple of different rivers that um, uh, one of which runs like kind of right through the heart of the city itself. Um, there's like, mul- like clearly like the city would get really big and they'd build a wall around it and then it would just expand out and build another wall around it. <laughs> um, you can see these like long straight avenues that run all the way through the city and sort of intersect it and sort of from variety of directions, aqueducts. It's, the city is huge. And it's not hard even just passing by to see sort of the Grand Coliseum and like um, the like large, like sort of chariot arena and stuff on the outside of the city, uh, just even from here. Um, And there's no like, you will see a lot of like sort of military patrols they, or they're not, they don't necessarily seem patrolling. They seem to be, like, sort of moving with purpose one direction or another, but they're always small groups. Um, and they all seem to be, like, wearing the markings of the same legion. Okay. Um, and there's... Um, and you'll see a lot of military riders and a lot of couriers, as well as just a lot of merchants, townsfolk. You'll get passed by fancy carriages. You'll get passed by palanquins <laughs> being carried by slaves. Um, it, it, there are just people everywhere of like a whole variety of uh, nations hmm. well Jim of the Empire for this place and pretty, keep right pretty terrifying <laughs> it's a big city very big city so pompous day huh <laughs> Don't say that too loud. <laughs> I'm a dwarf. I don't know his name. <laughs> I don't remember his name either. I said where I come from, we tended to call him Emperor Pompous. So that's kind of what's stuck in my head. So the Cerulean Nine, I believe, they're, hmm. they're people. I don't you know. I don't think I've ever heard it. I don't think I've ever heard his name. Not once. <laughs> He's the kind of person who makes a holiday about himself, calls himself a god, so. I think if I knew the name of this holiday, I'd know his name, but oh well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I say we just keep riding then? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep Start making our trek towards the mountains. Okay. Yep. Um, you will, uh, it's going to be, even just like traveling sort of the length of this country, is going to um, take you a couple of weeks, but you are traveling through like very civilized countryside the whole way. It's a lot of farms, it's a lot of villas, a lot of small villages, and a few larger cities. Um, you will pass a lot of merchants heading one direction or another. The other thing you will pass a lot of, presumably heading for the 
front lines are military careers. Um, there's kind of a constant stream of them heading, um, heading back and forth on horseback. You guys know exactly what military careers look like. You <laughs> We've killed enough. <laughs> I have to instinct. I just saw myself from instinctually throwing a javelin at them. <laughs> just opening a hole in the ground underneath it and stealing all the shit. <laughs> yeah, um, it's almost muscle memory at this point. <laughs> yeah. I assume because they're at war with northern tribes too, mm-hmm. right? Like the yeah. Maral and Maravania. Mm-hmm. So that's there's they're at war with everybody. Yeah. It wasn't it. If they're at war with everybody, but like it's kind of just like er- they're at a stalemate with everybody. Um, they're not really winning. You know that at least was the case with the um, like on the eastern front with the Tabaxi. That yeah. war was at a stalemate. You don't really know how the war. Um, the like the war against your people. They they built a wall. They built a wall, and that was kind of the the last of it. Um, and now. Uh, they're just dealing with constant civil unrest um, and certain that, like, the, the dwarves will attack from north of the wall. Um, you don't really know how the war in, against the, like, barbarian tribes is going. Hmm. Alright. I guess we just keep riding and see what happens. Okay. Try and stay on civilized main roads as long as we can. <clears throat> okay. Um... You can definitely get at least fairly well into, like, you kind of end up going north for a ways and then turning to follow the coast. You're not going to be, to you can, like, start you, you can be right on the coast if you want, or you can, like, um, or you can sort of go farther inland. The coast is definitely safer, and it's going to take you down sort of more along the southern border of Veral and towards Cesare. Um, but yeah, that's where, like, path. the safer roads are. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. I'd rather not have a run-in with the barbarian people. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Were you about to make a comment about me? <laughs> I would say that calling the people of Veral barbarians is a little bit of the... It's a bit of the pick calling the Celt of our parents. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, the way that the Curians view all of the North is pretty blanket statement barbaric. Hey, I, I don't know. I've just heard people call them barbarians in passing. I don't know anything of the place. Technically, to you, everybody's a barbarian. Because they don't speak Greek. Facts. No one say that to their faces. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're they're not barbaric. No, <laughs> it seems not barbaric <laughs> at all. It's a it's just pretty learned priestly sort. To be fair, you're smarter than me. Many, not very many people in my land really know uh, the Elvish, though. So I mean, oh yeah, he speaks Elvish. Mm-hmm. He's basically. Basically civilized. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I don't want to <laughs> For a lot of reasons. You're not <laughs> the perpetual drunkenness, I think, is the, the most important of those reasons. Well, we, uh, we're coming up on time here, so we should probably do some place to probably call it there. Okay. Yeah. On the traveling roads. Some of us have, uh, some of us have places, places to be and the yeah, uh, things I'm, to do, so. I'm good till 5.15, so it's 4. 4.15, we probably won't be able to do another one tonight, yeah. but that's fine. Um, I don't necessarily know what you guys accomplished today, but... We, we, we found somewhere, and we traveled a great distance, <laughs> Yeah, and we yeah. almost got involved in some stuff that we shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but shouldn't you have? I think it was See, good the decision. DM wants us to do it. I mean, this is definitely a good No, decision. no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he wants us to do it so he can kickstart his gladiator arc. <laughs> Which could be awesome, but I don't. Now I really don't want to get uh, knocked out and have all my stuff taken because I got god armor that they made. 
Oh, jeez. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Um, if you like this kind of thing, we've got a lot of very similar content, um, and in fact, another ongoing uh, D&D campaign uh, with significantly more players and kind of a little more dressed up, um, which has been uh, quite a bit of fun. Some good shenanigans uh, and some uh, some old inside jokes coming uh, yeah, coming fun. out to the end of the day. Um, <laughs> Uh, which is uh, um, had at least some people uh, um, not able to function properly for the uh, duration of that segment. Just had to sit there and laugh. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, so again, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.